Hey there, my name is Chase Murphy and I'm a senior ConnectWise consultant here at Proval Tech. And today I want to talk to you about how to create searches to find pieces of software missing from machines so that you can work on getting them deployed. Let's get into it. Uh, so first off here, uh, you can see I've already navigated over to the searches screen, which is under automation, searches, view searches, just to get me into this screen. And I've also navigated to the software folder just to keep things organized. Uh, so as far as creating a new search goes, you can actually just hit the add button up here. Um, and then you have to add some specific conditions to find the piece of software that you're missing. Uh, so first off, right on this and right here, we'll have to click and we're going to add a group. And then that's gonna populate a secondary group for us. We actually need to exit out of here and we need to change this to a not and, and then we have to add one more group right underneath there, and we're gonna change this to a collection match for applications so we can look for specific applications. We can also remove that individual search. Once you hit the add button here, that's gonna pop up the ability for us to select the application name that we're looking for. In this case, we're gonna change it to contains for the condition to search for, and then we're going to look for Google Chrome, nice and easy. Um, so what you do there then is you can hit the search button and it should find all of your machines that are missing that piece of software. Um, you can add extra conditions into this. Um, for example, here you can see that we only have workstations listed right now, but let's say you were only looking for servers. You could actually add an additional condition from the and statement and we could say, let's look for only servers missing Google Chrome. So server is true. Search, in our environment, we don't have any servers missing it. So we wouldn't have to worry about this. But we can also change it to false to look for just workstations. And again, that's gonna populate the data that we're looking for. Then once you're satisfied with your search, you can come in here and name it whatever makes sense to you. Uh, typically something like software deployment, um, something basic that'll, that'll make sense to you, Google Chrome uh, missing, and then we could save that. I've already gone ahead and, and made one of those earlier just for the purposes of this video, but uh, you can save it directly into that software folder right from here. Um, and then what you can do with it, and I've already started this in a different tab, is I've actually already started creating a new group for software deployment. So what we can do is name the group software deployment, Google Chrome, and then you uh, want to make this group a master group because you do not want other groups to take or remove machines from this group because we're going to use the limit to search to find our specific devices. So we'll turn on the limit to search. We'll find our search on the list. I'm already down here in the software section and have it selected there. And then you create the group. That is gonna tell Automate to go find those agents and put them in the group for us. Might take a little bit, uh, but this group would typically be populated by those machines. And then you could even go in so far as to schedule a script. Um, I know that Automate actually gives some example scripts for Chrome installation. So this example is Google, uh, Google and then Chrome installer. You could set that up to run every day on all of the devices that'll be in this group. And you could say, let's try to get machines during the online time. So let's run it at maybe 10 in the morning and have it run every day. And as soon as you add it in here, now you've just built automation that'll go out there and deploy that software automatically for you for all of your online machines. So that's what I wanted to display with you today is setting up quick automation for software deployments and using searches to do so. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, we try to post a new video every week to share our uh, knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit provaltech.com. There should be a link right here in the video or in the description below. Thank you.